Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trail Makers, and today I'm gonna be attempting to create a car that can split itself in half, and then hopefully, if things don't go terribly wrong, it'll be able to re-merge itself and become a complete functioning car again. I feel like this idea is a little bit outside of my expertise, but uh, maybe that just means I'll learn something along the way, whether or not I'm successful. All right, so here's my plan. I'm just gonna convert a car that I've already mostly built. And the plan is to use electromagnets to basically attach the two halves of this car together. And then what I wanna do is I'm basically gonna divide the car in half. And the plan is to make the standalone half a functional piece of vehicle. And if I can do that, I will just copy and paste it to the other side and hopefully it'll mirror correctly. And then we just gotta make these two halves able to separate and then come back together using electromagnets. The visualization in my head seems to work fine. Whether or not that's gonna translate into reality in Trail Makers, I, I really don't know what to expect. But uh, first things first, I need to make this car a smooth half rather than having all these pieces sticking out. Okay, half car now exists. Now all that's left is to make this actually be able to drive on its own, which may be easier said than done. So wish me luck here. All right, I think I've done it. I think I have half of a car that can drive on its own. How I've managed to accomplish this was not my original plan, but I think it's gonna overall be more stable. So my original plan was actually use sensors to try to keep it balancing like I would with a unicycle or a bicycle. But uh, it turned out to be way too unstable and there's no way I was gonna get both halves to be controllable to come back together. So instead, I've resorted to a spare wheel that when you press a button, it comes out <laughs> and supports it to create like a three-wheeled half of a vehicle, which can uh, completely drive on its own. And I still kept the sensors on the side to prevent it from flipping over in that direction at least. We can still flip over if we turn too sharp in the left direction, but, uh, oh. But that's a little bit more difficult to do. And anyways, I was thinking when I'm bringing the cars back together, I'm going to be turning towards the inside. So I'm more likely to flip to the outside anyway. So I'm really hoping that this is going to be suitable. And uh, now let's see if I can even copy and paste this to the other side. Oh, no, that's not mirroring. Why aren't you mirroring? If you don't mirror, I can't do this. I have to do something to like trigger the actual mirroring. I think maybe if I have a piece. Ah, yes, 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 there we go. So now we can disconnect. Now I have two pretty much identical pieces, but I'm not done yet. I still need to actually make them connectable and disconnectable. All right, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to have the car come together in a way that doesn't have a gap because in order to disconnect these, I need to make sure that the only thing connecting them is a detachable block. So if any other of these connection points touch, we're not gonna be able to disconnect. So I think I need to have this space in here, unfortunately. And then I also need to get some electromagnets in here so we can reconnect. Okay, I have no idea, like literally no idea what to expect with this. It could be theoretically ready right now. So I'm just gonna press space and it'll detach. And uh, I don't know what, I don't know what's gonna happen after that. So here we go, three, two, one, space. Oh, okay, all right. Um, the wheels, the wheels were supposed to automatically trigger when that happened and they did not. All right, let's try this again and detach. Why? These sensors aren't doing anything. All right, and detach. Oh, 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 the, what? Okay, they're wanting to, what? All right, the piston got triggered and the wheel did something weird that time. All right, guys, I finally figured out. <laughs> and you can see all of my test attempts because whenever I repair it, it leaves the other half of the vehicle behind. So this is how many times I failed. And uh, now I can finally have it so that the wheel comes out automatically. I just had my distances set wrong. So this works. The other issue I'm having now is um, I can't control the other half of the vehicle once we detach. I know there is some type of like remote control glitch but I can't figure out how it works and apparently it's really, really inconsistent and glitchy anyway. So I need to make some adjustments and I, I want this to work in, it doesn't have to work great. I just want it to work in some weird fashion. So I'm gonna keep making some adjustments and we're gonna see what ends up happening. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna give it a try here and see what happens. So we press space to detach and clearly we've detached and I'm still drivable. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around and then pull up next to the car. 
and see if I can get myself to reattach with my magnets. I don't, I really don't imagine this is gonna work very well. Oh no, they're like leaning into each other. I need to, I need to make this wheel like lower to the ground somehow. All right, and, uh, no, no, hold on, hold on, just uh, attach. <gasps> this is like, oh, wait, why aren't my wheels, my wheels need to come back in though. <laughs> this is so stupid. It, it looks almost like it's working though, right? Like we're on the verge of something. All right, let me see what I can manage to fix here. All right, if I'm being honest here, I couldn't figure out really that much to change, uh, but I did make it so that the sensor, it's a, whoa, 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 that was cool. It's rolling. Oh, wait a minute. That behaved, why did that behave differently? Why is this all working weird? What is happening right now? What is, what? <laughs> why can I do this? Why is this a thing? Okay, yeah, I have no idea what caused that. But I guess let's just try it again and see if we get some different results. Okay, this is good so far. This is looking okay. So I really wish it would just keep driving straight, to be honest. I don't know if there's a way I can do that, though. And then if, even if I do get it to drive straight, then it's going to mess up when I reconnect, I'm pretty sure. All right, and reconnect. Oh, come on. It's trying to put the wheels up. The sensors aren't quite there though. I can't even turn either. It's almost whole again. It's so close too. Oh, you know, I think I have an idea. All right, but I want to try to reconnect again. I changed my sensors again to hopefully... Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I mean, if your wheels break off, th that also is... Oh no. <laughs> All right, let me try my idea. I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know how it goes. All right, so let's see if this idea works. Uh, 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 n nah, it's not exactly what I was hoping would happen. I mean, it almost, <sighs> it almost worked. It goes, but it does not go straight. Wait, why is it, are those wheels conflicting? <gasps> this wheel is going backwards. Okay, this might actually work now. Tiny little hiccup, tiny little design flaw. One of the wheels was going backwards. Okay, so now separate. Separate, separate, get off me. No, I'm in the wrong vehicle. I can't stop it now, it's just going. This is good though, this is good. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the flat map because we need some space for this. This might actually work, guys. All right, here we are, we're in the flat map. I'm in the correct seat this time. The left and the right half of this vehicle are not identical in how they function at all. The left half is the driving half. The right half is the stand by itself half. So let's see if this works. Detach. No, 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 you're going too fast. Just slow down, slow down. No. <laughs> well, there it goes. That's good though. That's good. I like that. We just, we're gonna have to be able to catch up to it though. That's, that's the, no. No, my, it's not, it's not bringing it back. Okay, so through that test, I've learned that I do not want the second car to be on full power. So I will deactivate a few engines. So the way I'm getting this to work is the same sensor that detects the separation that brings down the wheel is also the same sensor that is now triggering the engines to power. So theoretically, when we're separated, the separated half should just keep going automatically. And then when we reattach, that should stop the engines so they're not gonna be fighting me the whole time. But the, the one thing that we can't do right now or that I, I haven't figured out an easy way to do is once we reattach, I don't have control over the steering on the other half anymore. It's just gonna stay straight and fight with me the whole time. All right, so let's see if we can at least get the detachment going now. There we go. Oh yes, look at that. Look at that, right, let me catch up to you, please. Oh man, it is so different. What is going on? Do you see those things? Oh, I, it is so hard to control this thing at speed. All right, I'm gonna have to make that thing go a lot slower. And what are these? All right, it should now be at half the power and I'm gonna do an experiment here. I'm gonna put the magnets on repel as I detach and I'm hoping it's gonna push it away from me. I don't know if that's actually how it's gonna work though. Here we go in three, two, one, detach. Oh no, oh, that was too much. Okay, no, oh, what? Why is it so fast on its own? It's taking me with it. Okay, uh, let me go, please. Let me, just let me, let me, uh, let go of me. Please, just. <laughs> 
Everything's going exactly to plan. This is exactly how I meant to do everything. Let's see if this goes any better. Okay, this is okay. This is good. This is nice. Now, can I stay in control to get back in contact with the thing? Yeah, get... <laughs> That was our best, like, it, that, that was almost what I envisioned happening. We're on the verge of something real here. I think we can get this to work. All right, let's try this again. Come on, I want to get a nice detachment. What happened to all my power? I have no... What is happening? <laughs> There's another car driving around. I, I, I am very strangely stuck to this thing right now, and I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's fine. All right, let's see if we can catch up to it. There's some weird, weird stuff happening with this. Okay, come on. I don't know if I like it or dislike the fact that when I repair, I'm still just this standalone half. That's not, it would be a lot easier in some cases if I could just repair the whole vehicle back together. But hey, we're catching up. So this is good. We can at least catch up to our other half. Okay, we're catching up. We're almost there. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. I have to feather the turning so gently to not mess this up. All right, and... That didn't quite line up the way it was intended to. If I don't line it up, then those sensors aren't going to untrigger and it's going to ruin everything. So we're, we're just going to have to keep trying. I will get an acceptable reconnection before the end of this video. That is my goal. It's just, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to be acceptable. Okay. All right. And detach. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. That was perfect. All right, now I gotta go back and do it without messing up. No, dang it, come on, go, go, go. It is so hard to control this thing. This is the most unstable half of a vehicle. What am I even saying? Like, what? of course it's unstable. It's literally half of a vehicle. Why is there a screaming sound right now? And detach. Oh, that was a great... De okay, and detach. D detach, detach, detach. There, there we go. Okay, this should be the one. This has to be the one. Come on. Oh, yeah, that's good. That is good right there. All right, now let's just line ourselves up. No, no. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Nice and gentle. Mash the speed. Mash the speed. Okay, and... Uh, and... Oh! <gasps> No! 80th time's the charm. We can do this. There we go. And now we just gently turn back into it. And... No, no, no! Detach. Get away from me. Get away from me. There we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't flip over. Don't flip over. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is is yeah it's bad and... Uh... no and attach <gasps> uh... oh, hey, uh... all right i want one more like decent looking one where i just have a nice simple detach and then i just turn back on in and reattach oh I think that was one of my best ones. We lost some of our middle wheels, but hey, this ain't too bad. We have a successful detaching and reattaching car. And by successful, I mean successful. It, it doesn't work great, but it works. And that's all I can really hope for when I have these crazy ideas. So if you enjoyed that, definitely hit like on the video. And uh, if you have any other crazy ideas like this that you'd like to see me attempt to do in Trail Makers, let me know down in the comments below. If you want to see other crazy Trail Makers videos, then check out this playlist right here on the end screen. And don't forget to check out some merch if, you are, if you're a fan of the channel and you want another way to support the channel and get some cool merch for yourself as well. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.